Staying in an upright posture with the spine in a neutral position parallel to the shin allows the center of mass to be in the middle of the base of our feet to maintain balance. In addition, it means we do not have to strain our necks to actually follow the play. Moreover, it means that we are not at any point favoring one movement direction over another. Again, we can perform a split step or some sort of dynamic loading where our feet actually leave the ground so we can take the most advantage of the elasticity and passive reflexes of our muscles and tendons. Sure, we could bounce up and down from weighted to unweighted, but leaving the ground increases the rate at which our muscles actually stretch, which allows for greater increases in force development. It is for the same reason that jump heights are much higher from a counter movement jump than from just a squat jump, but highest in jumps where we have a run up because the rate of muscle lengthening during the eccentric phase is highest. Staying in a loaded position actually diminishes the returns from a lengthened muscle. The longer a muscle stays at the same length, the less force it can produce. This is all because the energy stored in the elastic component of the muscles gets dissipated and the stretch reflex becomes absent. Therefore, you want this transition between loading and unloading to occur as quickly as possible. Now, this isn't to say that having your center of mass in front of your feet or your base is bad. It just makes you cater or lean towards one direction of movement. This may be useful if you're deep in your defensive zone and are keeping all balls in front of you. However, this is not always possible due to the dynamic nature of the game and the uncertainty as to where the, the ball might be going. Uh, in addition, this, this may be actually a constraint of the position that you actually play on the court. So adopting a more neutral position will apply to any de defensive position on the court and allow you to move in any direction that you choose. So now we've added defenders, Felix, and um, you know we believe in the same like the same things that we do in blocking, where our feet should be kind of loading, our legs should be loading while the ball's in play, and then right as the ball's being contacted, we should go into some other kind of load so defensively we can pursue. So can you just talk to us again about the? I mean, the, the biomechanics are the same, the philosophy is the same, um, but can you just talk about again why it's an advantage? Definitely. I, I first want to just talk about their, their starting position where they're actually a bit staggered. This will um, give them advantage uh, over if their feet were just parallel because now I've actually got a foot that, I, that is behind where my center of gravity is that I can use to propel myself forward. And it's the same thing where we want to actually use these little hops to uh, generate a bit of potentiation. Wait. These little hops to generate what? Uh, potentiation in, in the muscles and actually generate that stretch shortening cycle so that we're not just relying on our muscles to generate it, but our muscle reflex and tendon reflex. So Felix, we're talking about the whole concept of getting low on defense and how important that is and why to do it and, and more importantly when to do it because I think if people are looking at this video, they're going to see our players in pretty upright postures uh, with a load in their hips, but pretty upright postures until the ball actually comes to them low. Yes, definitely. I mean, uh, this idea of, of getting low and getting the torso in front of the in front of the feet means that that only really allows us to move in one direction, which is forward. Uh, unfortunately, in volleyball, we don't have that luxury of, of knowing that it's always going to go in front of us. Uh, we need to put ourselves in a neutral position um, while still loading our legs so that we can move in, in any direction. Um, and we want to actually do this loading um, just as the ball is being contacted. Why? Why do we want to load just as it's being contacted? Why do we want to load before, like while the ball's in play? <laughs> Good question. Well, I, I just have a personal opinion and, and um, okay, in my opinion, I think it's because um, we're really starting a chain, uh, like a sequence of events. So we're using that, uh, that loading as, as timing um, to then get our hands close to, get our hands close to our body, and then start that, that, that whole digging motion. Uh, so, you know, I, like I said, I hear a lot of coaches talk about my players have to get low. And kind of like you just said earlier, if you, get, if you get too low too early, what's gonna happen? You won't be able to move. You'll be stuck in, in that one spot and, and only be able to move pro probably in one direction only. So the idea of being more upright as a passer and as a defender has, has what advantage in volleyball? I think it helps you keep balanced uh, and help you move in, in all directions. 
so we're really looking for a similar response like we had in some of the blocking where the back row players are trying to move and position themselves in this higher posture. They're trying to like load their legs and time the load so that they can then react to the ball being struck by the attacker. They're not trying to get, are they trying to get stopped on contact? No, they're not trying to get stopped. They're trying to position themselves to make a play on the ball. And sometimes that might be right at them, but they need to also be prepared for anything that goes short or over their heads. Uh, Felix, the, uh, the last thing I want to ask you about is this kind of flex in the ankle. I hear a lot of coaches talk about, you know, our players have to be kind of this ankle-loaded position. Um, what is it and what's the advantage of it and, and when is it an advantage? So the, the concept of the, of the ankle load is so that you can actually um, use what, what we referred to before, the, the stretch shortening. So if that muscle is actually lengthened, we can use that to propel ourselves forward. The only problem is if we hold this position for a very long time, or the longer that we hold this position, we're actually putting our body under a disadvantage because the, the ability to produce force will decrease with the amount of time we're actually holding this ankle loaded position. So that's kind of why the advantage of preloading it right before contact exists so that we can really take advantage of that stretch shortening. Great.